Hello, I've got a question for you. What's your favourite camera? Now, it might be the camera you're using at the moment. It's quite possible it's a camera that you've not used for a very long time. This is my favourite. It's the Fuji X100V. It's the fifth generation of this camera. And I bought the original one when it first came out years ago, and then another one a few years back, and then finally this one. This one I've had uh, less than a year, and I'm loving it. Now, the reason it's my favourite is not because of the technology that's inside it. And believe me, this thing is packed with technology. It's because as a camera, it does something to me at the heart level. It, it No, I'm not romantically inclined towards it. In, in oh, Come on, come on, guys. What I'm saying is, whenever I pick this thing up, I want to use it. Let's just, hang on, just get rid of this thing off the screen which I've, you know we're, we're talking about. Now, what's your favourite camera? Right, got rid of that. When I, I see this lying around the house or the studio, and actually it's such an attractive, physically attractive camera, and it's such fun to use that it says to me, every single time I look at it, ping me up and take a photograph. And that's what I want to do. Any camera that does that to you has got to be a good camera. It doesn't matter what technology is there. You know, it doesn't matter where it's got in-body image stabilization, whether you can shoot at 30 frames a second, whether you can shoot incredible video. Oh, who cares about the video anyway? We're photographers. That's going to get some people going. Don't care. I'm not interested in video. I'm a stills photographer. Okay, I've done video. I've got my name in the, um, what do they call it? The IMDB thing. Three. I was director of photography in three films. I've done video. I'm still a stills photographer. And when I buy a stills camera, I want to buy a stills camera. Not interested in the video. Okay. But I like this camera because every time I look at it, I think, oh, gosh, it's such a good camera. I want to take it out and use it. And it's never happened with any of my DSLRs. It's never happened with any of my Olympus cameras. Actually, it's not true. Actually, my Olympus Owen one did do that to me. Yeah, back in the days of film. Um, I've had a good range of Canon cameras, right up to the, the One X, the, the, the 1D series. And, you know, I spent a lot of money on them over the years. But none of them, even all the other Fuji cameras, and here's another one I've got, is, a, is an, X, an X-T series, an X-T, this one's an X-T3. Um, none of them have spoken to me like this simple camera. Listen, the lens doesn't even come off. It's fixed. You can't remove it. And it's not even a zoom lens. It's a slightly wide angle zoom. Slightly wide angle prime. <sighs> Who would do this business for a living? It's a slightly wide angle. So it's a, on a, this is a crop frame camera with a 23mm fixed lens. It's equivalent to putting a 35mm on a full frame camera. Okay, so it's slightly wider than your standard 50mm prime. Good for documentary photography, for street photography. And I've shot weddings on those. I have. I've shot weddings on them. It's fun to use. It makes me want to get off my backside, take it out into the street and shoot. And to me, that's a really good reason for like, for liking a camera. So think about the cameras you've owned, including the ones or one you've got now, and Tell me below what your favourite camera is or was. Post a picture of it if you can find one. And try to put into words what it is that's made that camera so exciting, so alluring to you. It might be a camera that's long dead and gone back in the days of film. But I would love to see what it is. And I bet you for most of you it's nothing to do with the technology. There we know.